Welcome to Bumps Racket Review. Today we are testing the Leaning Windstorm 72. Now, if you are familiar with the Windstorm range, you know that is their lightweight range, so it's like their sort of FB style, you know, lighter section of the range, uh, the Light Fighters by Victor. Um, and it feels super duper light actually. Um, now, what we, it does tell us here is a 72 gram racket, hence the Windstorm 72, represents the weight. Um, the maximum string tension here, it says, is 30 pounds. So, 30 pounds on a 72 gram racket, not bad. Balance is not written, so we can't tell you the balance of the racket. And the shaft stiffness is also not written here. It has sort of medium flex, I would say, but we've tested that properly on a machine, so we can, if you go to the Racket E-Zone on Badminton Racket Review, you can see what the exact shaft tension is according to our testing. Um, the price of this is around the £130 mark. Um, I'm sorry about this, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, around the £130 mark. At the, at the time we've, we're filming this video, it's about £130. So you can, uh, you know, that's sort of Yonex money, but Leaning is a world-class manufacturer and I'd needless to say, Chen Long is sponsored by them, uh, previously Lin Dan was, and so much, so much of the national, the international Chinese team, Indian team, there's loads of international players sponsored by Leaning, so we know they're a good manufacturer. Um, in terms of the design, you know, I have to say, I, I'm, I'm, if you saw the N72 video, uh, or even the N9 or the Superforce. Um, this is, their designs are really good. I mean, they're really current leaning. I think they're ahead of, they're ahead of the game compared to Yonex in design. I think Yonex has done some great jobs. They did some nice jobs on their DG range. Um, and there's one other racket that I particularly liked by Yonex. But this is really nice. It's vibrant in color. Um, the contrast of colors are really good. The detailing is really good. The print quality is really good. I really like it. Um, I think it's, you know, it's a cool looking racket. Take a look yourself and see what you think. Okay, so let's see how much this racket weighs with the strings in place. The grip, as you know, with all the tests we've done, um, is supplied to us by the manufacturer. So we, we maybe there's two or three rackets we had to regroup over the 570, 80 rackets that we've done, tested. Um, but let's see how much this racket weighs. Seventy-five point four grams. So depending on which string you're using, you're looking at a seventy-five, uh, sort of seventy-four and a half, seventy-five and a half gram racket. That is crazily light, super light racket. So how does this racket play? Um, Windstorm seventy-two. It's actually not not bad at all um, for a light racket. It plays pretty well. That said. At 130 pounds, is it 130 pounds worth of good? You know, it's a difficult call to make. Um, over the last sort of four years as we've been doing this, it's become apparent to us that people who play badminton are particularly fixated on the manufacturer, and for some reason it's a good reason to do that, because Li Ning, Victor and Yonex pretty much dominate um, badminton with all the other manufacturers falling into their various slots. But further down the chain. Um, now, one of the things that you have to say is, okay, this is really well designed. It's obviously very well manufactured, and it performs reasonably well. But when you when you think about the performance related to the price, you know, my mind can't help but start thinking about some of the other rackets that we've tested, like the Alex Wovens, the Apex rackets, um, the Abros. Um, you know, and they're a lot less money, less than half the price. And what does, you know, at which point do you justify spending double that, that money? Um, a lot of people that we've just had random chats with about how they spend their money on rackets, why they spend their money on rackets, is, is this kind of faith that if I buy a 
branded racket like this or a really well known branded racket, Sapax is also a branded racket and it's well known, um, you're going to get longevity uh, from it, you're going to get um, consistent performance from it but uh, from my perspective when you go on court with a racket, uh, with a racket I know people like a cool looking racket, that's why we talk about the design. Outside of that when you're playing it's going to be down to how well this is an extension of your arm. Um, and in that case it's down to how good your shots are, how consistent you, you're performing, how, how many unforced errors you're making and at that point I don't think that the manufacturer matters, I think the racket matters, the racket in your hand and, and you know people do have a budget so if you, if you, a lot of people like to buy a racket, if they like it buy a spare so they're using the same racket it should your strings break during a game as the professionals do. So I'm not sure it's worth £130 worth, but it is not a bad racket to play with. We've done a very in-depth, detailed um, review of this at the Racket E-Zone, on the Racket E-Zone at Badminton Racket Review. It's a members only zone, but membership is very reasonably priced. So if you, anyone who's looking to spend over £25 on a racket really should be looking to go into the E-Zone and quickly check out. The, the up to 560 rackets available. The individual racket pages on the recent rackets do include now a detailed video review too, which they didn't before. Um, so we've given the example of a detailed racket page before, but I'll do it again. This is the kind of thing you can expect to see on our site. And on that page, you, you will have the manufacturer's information, as I've already pointed out, our test results, our overall score, a personal video of this racket, uh, along with the testing, photography and video. So it's a fairly full page of information. And as you probably just saw, it gives you everything you need in terms of information. Certainly, there's... If there's anything else you think we should add, I mean, including a video review of how it plays, plus all the independent testing specs, plus the score, plus the racket manufacturer specs, really is as much information as you can possibly get before you go out and spend £130 or make the decision to go out and spend £130. Um, now, we already tested this uh, for smash, smash test, which where we measure the velocity of the shuttlecock. Uh, in kilometers per hour where we've done the control test where we see how good this racket is at controlling the shuttlecock and also the maneuver test which tells us how quickly it moves through the air. Well, those tests have already been done, here's a glimpse of those. So those tests, along with all the other tests, including the shaft stiffness, including the balance point, including the swing weight, which tells you how, the, how heavy the racket feels to play with, are all on the Brampton Racket E-Zone, which uh, all our members have access to. So please go there if you'd like to know more about this racket. And also do support us by pressing the subscription button below. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.